go. We're back. Four o'clock rock here on Hawaii, the state of clean energy with Ray Starling and me uh, hosting Dr. Fritz Rettberg, who is a, an energy researcher from the University uh, of Technology in Dortmund, Germany, and part of the German Hawaiian Energy Symposium going on today, right now at UH Medical School, uh, the Cancer Center in Kaka'ako. Welcome to the show, Fritz. Thank you so much. Great to have you here. But let's have, let's have a formal introduction, Ray. What can we say about Fritz? Well, Fritz uh, is here uh, representing European interests who are interested in German interests that are interested in, in doing business here in a place where things are really happening with renewable energy. And so Fritz, uh, as a PhD, uh, has been in, I, and I heard him talk today, he is uh, very, very knowledgeable about what the things are that we need to think about uh, going forward. So I'm very happy that we stole him away. We actually pulled him out of the, the uh, conference that was going on. And uh, hopefully we'll get back for some drinks later. But, so. uh, <laughs> but uh, we brought him here to, uh, to chat with us a little bit. Okay, and, for context, Ray, tell us a little about the conference itself. Well, the conference actually was uh, sponsored by um, several groups, uh, uh, mostly uh, the, uh, the uh, German um, German American Chamber of Commerce. German American yeah. Chamber of Commerce. Out of Los Angeles. We talked to him last week. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And uh, and also the Blue Planet Foundation was was doing the big sponsorship here, and there's several other groups that were involved, including my old group, Hawaii Energy. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, th th we had a s number of different speakers from uh, from Germany who uh, wanted to talk about what their thoughts were about what what we need here now to make things move forward. So this is a technology, energy technology type conference, is that what it is? Right, right. So from your side of the pond, as they say, <laughs> why is this interesting? Why is this conference here in Hawaii interesting to you? Because as, I, as, as far as I understood, you have the highest potentials for, for renewable uh, energies in, in the whole world. So when, when you think about Germany or, or let's say Europe, as I, as I said at the conference, uh, I learned you have 300 days of sun in, in the year, we have 300 days of rain in the year. That's <laughs> at, at, at least what, what, what I'm feeling. Um, but uh, even, even Germany has 30% of renewables in the power grid. And, and so when I think about and, and imagine what Hawaii could do with this potential, that's the that's a hot spot for renewable energy in, in the world, in my opinion. Well, in, in Europe, Germany is a leader yeah, in yeah, we renewable are. energy. Why? why? Why has that happened? Uh, yeah, be, because we had, uh, several years ago, we had, a, we had the start of, of a quite successful law for, um, for renewable energies that guaranteed uh, citizens, normal people that uh, invested into photovoltaic, that they get a guaranteed feed-in tariff, that they get uh, subsidies for the investment. And, and so um, we turned the energy system around. What was kind of a, of a top-down system in, in, in former times went bottom-up. And that is uh, why we were successful, because the people had money in, in this new system. And, and they were getting money out of it for 20 years, maybe, um, in a guaranteed way. And, and that's what really worked in, in, in the end. And that is what, what made now, at, at the moment, our utilities, they, they felt the need to act now and, and to become more innovative. And that was quite successful. Is this driven off climate change or the price of oil? Yeah, both, both of it. Um, uh, so Germany is is a country that yeah won't be one of the big victims of, of climate change due to our situation in, in, in the world. But um, but it was climate change. It, it was. But first of all, it was a change in our society. In in the early eighty years, um, the the Green Party was 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 raising, and um, they they brought some new ideas of, of sustainability, of of uh, resource efficiency into our society, and that is now a kind of a common sense. And and each of our political parties now is on this road to more efficiency and 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 so and and it was it was a it, it was a bottom-up um 
uh, approach in, in Germany. And of course, the need, and especially it was Fukushima that, that brought oh, us sure. to, 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 to the point to get out of nuclear power. And at the same time, we, we, we said it doesn't make any sense to get out of nuclear power and uh, still burn coal and, and uh, have this uh, <laughs> CO2 emission uh, for, our, for our growth and, and, and our uh, uh, power demand. And, and so we said we have the technologies and it is a big global market. To be, yeah, to be a leader in, in renewable so energy. You, even then, even as this evolved, you were thinking of export. Of course. We are, uh, I, I, I think, um, I'm, not, I'm not Angela Merkel, uh, but uh, as, I, as a private person, I would say the, the German economy always thinks about export. Um, especially when, when it comes to, to technologies. And uh, what, we, what we learned is uh, that um, that it isn't technology issue to get more resource efficiency and, and to get more renewables in, in, in the power grid worldwide. And as we understand ourselves, we deliver high tech into the world. And that's what we tried with the, with the uh, energy turnaround in Germany as well. Okay, so here you are in Hawaii. I imagine that uh, German technology, German energy technology has also visited other places. Yeah, we We're not the only place. And so uh, part of this, at least part of it, is, I mean, you, you want to learn, you want to explain, you want to share, all that, but you also want to make money. Uh, so what is the business model? Uh, to come here, come to the conference, talk about your technology, what is ultimately the business model? Um, I, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm the, the right person to, to answer oh, your, take a your, whack your, your question. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm a researcher, so <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm, I'm working at a university, but I think the goal for the for the companies that are with us here, and they want to sell their products. That's that's for sure. You and, mean the black boxes, the, 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 the software? No, 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 no. They they are coming with, uh, let's say, storage systems, or they are okay. coming with uh, new kinds of of uh, PV um, uh, modules, and they are coming with software as as, as well. Of, that's that's for sure. But many of them come out of the of the um, let's say combined heat and power, uh, combined storage, electricity, or maybe electric cars, and and so on. That's where where they're coming so, from. So we don't even know yet, right? I mean, there'll be more inventions. There'll be more devices. Uh, there'll be more technology right, coming right, soon right. And from Germany. Yeah, it, it will, but, but it will come from, from all over the world. So um, when, when I think about what, what California, for, for example, is doing at, at the moment, they are doing a real technology policy for renewable energy. They made this tender for, for, for a big amount of, of, of storage. And um, I think it is all about, it's not all about money from, from, from my side of view. It is about sharing experiences. And it is about, um, yeah, let's say, avoiding mistakes that companies, uh, that uh, uh, countries like, like Germany did in the last years. And maybe um, uh, countries that come after us in, 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 the, um, in the energy turnaround, uh, it's no need that they do the same mistakes. And uh, they have other opportunities at the moment. For, for example, in, in Germany, one of our problems is we bought we bought everywhere there there are uh, pv plants on on the rooftops of, of of the houses in all over all over germany but at the same time we have no storage systems because the storage technology wasn't there when we started to to expand our photovoltaics and now at the moment i would say if hawaii and, and other countries around are going their way to more photovoltaics and to decentralized energy systems always think it with storage and not without so mm -hmm. That was a mistake we made, but there was no chance well, to. Write that down. That's going to be the <laughs> final exam. <laughs> write, write that down. Very important. So, you know, I mean, you paint a picture of a very progressive Germany. Uh, it's a Germany that cares about climate, cha cli climate change, and for the same reason, um, you want to do right by you know the global transfer of knowledge about this subject for the benefit of humankind. I think that's good. Uh, and the question is, how did you get into that? Did you get into energy because of the technology? Or because of progressive thinking, or both? Me personally, yeah. Because of the progressive thinking, it is. Uh, it, it it was a feeling um, that it is a um, an issue where where I can do things that really matter. F 
for, for example. So that's why I'm not with a company. I'm, I'm, I'm in a research institute. It's a kind of, a, of an idealism um, to, yeah, to, to do a little bit for, for the better world in, in the future. Oh my God, yeah, it's the common good <laughs> popping up. We love the common good. <laughs> yeah, but, but that's, that's research. You, you know, I, I don't think that, that companies or, or, or politicians are, are, are thinking that way. Uh, it's not their job uh, to, to, to think in that it should way. Be. It should be, maybe, <laughs> but it isn't. Maybe at, someday. At yeah, may, maybe someday. Yeah. So tell us how you spend your day. What kind of researching are you doing in Dortmund? Uh, we are we are researching, for example, on on uh, the uh, technological components of of the smart grid. That might be voltage control systems. Uh, that might be the connection of electricity and IT systems. Um, but we are we are doing a. Uh, yeah, we, we have an, a, a great focus or a big focus on electric mobility, for for example. That is one of our issues in in Germany. That we you say that mobility you mean cars. Yeah, yeah, mean mean means car. No, transportation it, it means transportation, and um, I I would say it it doesn't make any sense if we are all stuck in traffic in the future with electric cars. You know, it, it is about a new kind of mobility that, that we have to think about. And uh, it doesn't make any sense that we, that we use uh, the same uh, energy for three kilometers and 3,000 kilometers. And, and, and so it, it's about this intermodal concept, for example, for, for cities. Do we have bikes connected with, uh, with car sharing and, and electric cars and, and trains and, and buses and, and so on? And the, the combination of, of all this with alternative um, engines. That's the, our question for, for, for the future. This so is what you think about. I envy you. Yeah, that's... Uh, no, I'd like I, to have your job. Yeah, yeah I, I, I have... I, I always say, I've, maybe, uh, b besides you, I have the best job in the world. <laughs> <laughs> <You know? laughs> So what did you talk about in the uh, in the program today? Oh, it it was it was a quite um, yeah quite uh, specific topic. It was about uh, future distribution grids, or more or less about the experiences we made in in Germany uh, with the energy turnaround. So the the problem so historic uh, requirement. The German experience. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It it was on on the German experience, and and it was about the question, uh, but but. We, we didn't came to to an answer um, in in which way, uh, for example, Hawaii and and, and other um, regions in the world are are planning um, their expansion of of photovoltaics. If they plan it in in a way that they say we want to have it everywhere, uh, we can have it, or is it the way that they say we want to have it where it makes sense, and and that's a difference. Yeah, you, you know, and the question is, um, what do you do in your urban areas like like downtown uh, Honolulu, and what do you do in your in your rural areas in in, in the north? Will, will there be, uh, let's say, uh, yeah, islands, energy islands in on on the island, um, mm -hmm. and uh, or will there be a connected grid or on grid off grid solutions? That was what we were talking about. There. So during the day, uh, did it ever occur to you to move here and stay here and be with us? Uh, yeah, why not? Uh, yeah, I, I, I will. I will. <laughs> Ray, how did he do? How did Fritz do today? He did very well, actually. And, and I was hopeful of uh, continuing to ask some questions that he didn't get to. Uh, yeah, and we're going to do that, that right after right, this good, break. Good. We're going to take a short break. It's Fritz Redberg, um, a PhD that's a doctor at the University of Technology, Dortmund, Germany. And he's here on the German Hawaiian Energy Symposium. Uh, telling us the German experience, which we need to know about in any global evaluation of energy. We'll Hello, this is Martin Despang. I want to get you get excited about my new show, which is Humane Architecture for Hawaii and Beyond. We're going to broadcast on Tuesdays, 5 p.m. here on uh, Think Tech Hawaii. Looking to energize your Friday afternoon? Tune in to Stand the Energy Man at 12 noon. Aloha Friday, here on Think Tech Hawaii. I'm Ethan Allen, host of Likeable Science here on Think Tech Hawaii. Every Friday afternoon at 2 p.m., you'll have a chance to come and listen and learn from scientists around the world. Scientists who talk about their work in meaningful, easy to understand ways. And you'll come to appreciate science as a wonderful way of thinking, way of knowing about the world. You'll learn interesting facts, interesting ideas. You'll be stimulated to think more. Please come join us every Friday afternoon at 2 p.m. here on Think Tech Hawaii for Likeable Science with me, your host, Ethan Allen. 
We're back. We're live. We're here with Fritz Redberg, an idealist, also a, a technological researcher in energy in the University of Technology Dortmunder. Um, and there were things that we didn't quite explore, Ray, about exactly what Fritz said today in his remarks. You want to cover that? Well, I, I wanted to take what you did say and move it forward yeah, a little yeah. bit and, and uh, get you to tell us what you think the, uh, the best kind of... Uh, um, what what could Hawaii use if it went out and got the best of everything out there that you were been talking about storage and renewables and so forth? Who's doing it right? Who should we look to besides Germany, of course, um, in terms of what we need to do here? That's uh, that's a very good and a very let's say comprehensive question. So, um, yeah, Germany is, is, is doing, um, let's say, on the, on the large scale uh, grid. We are, we are connected with the European grid and, and um, uh, we are, a, compared to, to Hawaii, a, a quite big country, not compared to the US, but, but compared to Hawaii. So I, I think what you can learn from Germany is the use of several technology within one, um, let's say, holistic system. Mm -hmm. But um, I, I think you have to look to, to areas in the world that are more like an island. So, uh, for example, Singapore or, or, or whatever, they are doing real, really cool things in their, in their urban areas when, when it comes to use of, of ICT and, and use of flexibilities in, in, in the city. Mm -hmm. But I, I think um, it, it, it's no need to have, to have it all at once. So um, start with the right things. So and, um, and and the question is, what are the, what right, are the right things? things? Okay. So and I think the the first what I would do, um, but that's uh, that's my my opinion. When I would live on a spot on Earth that has three hundred days of sun, <laughs> I I would build photovoltaic. <laughs> yeah, to, to be honest, if you have three hundred days, why not do yeah. do do it with this photovoltaics? Buy some some storage, and then yeah, the the question is, will there be let's say um, uh, uh, bigger storage, uh, or will there be many many decentralized storage in in each of the houses? But what's your that's, answer? I think it depends on what you are talking about. When, when you're talking about downtown, I think you should have some bigger storage um, connected to the, to the power grid and um, at the substations, for, for example, to, to use it in a, in a grid conducive way. When, when we talk about um, smaller communities, maybe in, in the north or um, off-grid solutions, then it is about really decentralized systems. Uh, that, that means a photovoltaic uh, with their own storage, which fits together and uh, which enables, let's say, a house or, or a, a smaller community um, to be, yeah, to, to suffer from, from their own energy. So yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. that's it. So um, what comes to mind? is the dark side you know you're very idealistic and so are we but i would like to discuss with you where the yeah. barriers are where where are the problems that hold us back from you know a glorious future <laughs> yeah. what is, and i and i'm asking you to to, to see this globally yeah uh, what's stopping us um several interests of uh, several big players in in the world but that's nothing new. Uh, so one, one example might be, again, electric mobility or electric cars. Um, the, the conventional automotive industry wasn't able to build really good electric cars for the last decades. They should have been able. And if they have, if, if, if there was a will, they would have been able to, to do it. But they didn't. And, and so uh, someone like, like Tesla came and they built a car and they made a disruptive technology and they said to all the older guys in, in the automotive, <laughs> see what happens when we are doing it. And, and I think uh, it, it's the same uh, situation um, worldwide in, in, in the power grid. There are all paths of technology and, and of money and there are really, really big invests. Um, you, you, you may not underestimate that um, when you invest into a power grid, you are talking about times of, of 
50 years, 70 years for your return on investment. And um, that's one, one of the points. So they all see their, their business model are, are crushed and, and yeah, what, what, what should they do? Um, but I, I think more and more smaller companies are common and um, they are, let's say, hunting the big ones a bit. And mm. that's, that's a good point. But this is what, what the problem worldwide is. There are the big grids and there are the big utilities and um, they have all their, boss, their, their, their business models and that's good. They, they, they should have it. And they have to learn now that they have to bring their organizations into a new, in, into a new world and, and into a new kind of, of, of business. And that's not easy for such big companies. So I, I think we should, yeah, it will happen. It how, will how, happen. how would you suggest that we go about pushing that effort here? Yeah, it, 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 it is a kind, it is a kind of, a, of, of, a, of, of a political question. I, I think when, when people decide and when, um, when politicians decide that they want to give incentives for for example for the people that invest into um, into innovative components or invest into renewable energies that would be the first step the second step could be what we just dis discussed today to to uh, yeah increase the prices so to to make it more expensive in the, in in a political process and so I, I, I said, I, I went to a, to, to a store here and I saw a price tag for, uh, for cigarettes and it was about $13. So it works. If you don't want the people to smoke, make the cigarettes expensive. <laughs> so, and if, if, if you don't want the people to use, um, to use conventional uh, uh, energy and kilowatt hours uh, that have uh, uh, big emissions, um, then make it expensive. <laughs> Should but, work. But talking about that, Fritz, you know, <clears throat> the, the basic rule, we talk about this all the time, the basic rule is if you're going to move in a transformation to new and, relatively speaking, expensive technology, yeah. you have to replace the infrastructure. Yeah. Well, we live in a world of aging infrastructure yeah. really everywhere. I'm sure in Germany, uh, absolutely. too. Absolutely. And people, they, they built a bridge years ago, and they, and they go down the decades yeah. thinking, well, the bridge is OK. It's still standing. We're not going to put any more money into that bridge, but yeah. the bridge is getting old. Yeah. And you need new bridges. And people are really shocked to find they're going to have to re-maintain the bridge, replace yeah. the bridge. Okay, so we are really unhappy with all the cost that's coming down the pike Absolutely. on infrastructure. Yeah. This is one of those costs. Yeah. And, and when you lump them all together, infrastructure plus energy, it's really expensive and people are sensitive on that. And they call for cheap. They, in, in Hawaii, yeah. they call for cheap. Yeah, in Germany. It's how, how are we going to fund this? Because at the end of the day, it becomes an economic hyphen, political you know, resistance point, yeah. and people don't want to spend more. Um, um, and they don't fully understand, I think, that in order to go the distance to, tra to transform to clean energy, you yeah. have to pay. Yeah, you will have to pay. But you, you, will, you will have to pay, let's say, it, it, again, in the idealistic way, for a, for a better future. It, it's like, like an insurance. You, are, you have an insurance without knowing if you really need it in your, in your life. But you're paying for it because you're paying for, for a secure future. And, and it's the same with, with renewable energies. We, we have to learn that we have to, let, that we have to quantify the things that are only quality measures at, at the moment. What, what is better air worth in, in the future? What is it worth that, um, that the, the, the oceans do not, do not rise up? So I, I, I don't know. I, I have no number for it. But we have but to think huge. about it. Yeah, it is huge. <laughs> it's That's life it. and death, it, it is, it, it is huge. And it will be huger than, than building new, greener infrastructures and, and power systems. So to, to build the, the electricity or energy future will be cheaper in the end than to deal with all the threats that will come through, through climate change. I'm, I'm quite sure well, about We have it. to make the pe pe people yeah. understand that. Yeah, we have to make them understand I hope Donald Trump makes people understand that. Not optimistic about it. So, no. <laughs> so Ray, can you summarize and uh, sort of wrap around this, uh, the program and Fritz and the kinds of things we've been talking about? Well, uh, obviously, we're, we're trying to pull together everything that we've yeah. learned in one day here. Yeah. And actually, we need a week or two. Uh, but uh, 
what what Fritz and and his colleagues who came to talk to us today about uh, were trying to do is to give us their best ideas about what they see uh, that Hawaii could use. Mm -hmm. And I, I, you know, I'm 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 wondering uh, in the back of my head if you are. Um, if you're uh, available for sabbaticals to, to come and <laughs> there you go, yeah. Because <laughs> really, one of the things we have here on the island is we have too much of just the guys that we've always see. And having somebody come in and open up and tell us, hey, we tried that and that didn't work. It's or a reality We tried test. that and, and it did work. Uh, yeah. So maybe, uh, maybe we can find a way to, uh, to get you to, to come and spend some time at uh, UH. Every time. <laughs> Every time you want me to have it, Hawaii, I will be here. <laughs> I promise. Organizing I promise. Organizing an invitation <laughs> for well, you. We will, we'll have to do something like that because uh, it's been really good uh, hearing you and the others uh, yeah. talk about what's, what's out there well, that me, we haven't thought about. Let me say that it's great to have you here. It's great to have the connection with Germany. It's great to be able to look at it from two, you know, distant points like that, compare notes, reality test, you know, this we're doing good, this we're not doing good, and, and to learn from you. And we really appreciate you coming around and sharing. Uh, we greatly appreciate your progressive and idealist way of looking at it. And thanks so much for coming on our show, Fritz. Thanks so much for having me. As Thank they you so say, much. Aloha. Aloha. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.